pretty, pretty cool. Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing, once again in the middle of the night. Finally we have a pair of shoes. It's really hard to buy shoes nowadays because uh, first of all we in Sweden we don't get anything anymore and my size US 12 has always been rare in Sweden and now the resellers have understood that the larger sizes go for more money so it's difficult but luckily these were not hyped and I said a long while ago that I won't do any videos if you have already seen like 200 videos of these shoes and I'm absolutely not first with these Air Jordan 5 green bean uh, but all the other videos are so boring everybody's just talking about resale value and there is no resale value of these uh, on StockX at least in my size you can buy these for under retail so don't don't even talk about it I think they are super cool and what I hope that you want to know is how reflective are they because we are buying these shoes because they are reflective I really wanted these shoes because I love reflective shoes I love glow-in-the-dark shoes and I collect yeah I can say I collect reflective Air Jordans because I have them all it's just one pair of shoes that I don't have and that's the three lab five something and i think they're kind of ugly but that's the only pair so i already have the flash on so you should see that even the box is reflective uh, so when you touch it it's like uh, it's not smooth at all we have these color stains that are reflective and then we have the shoes smells like reflective shoes smells a little bit more plastic um, not bad not at all I like it it smells brand new uh, no glue smell or anything like that use that reflective shoe smells different from uh, like leather of course leather shoes should smell like leather so uh, I saw a guy having them with matching neon green laces. I have to get me those. Uh, it wasn't super easy to find and I would prefer not to buy them online because I'm unsure that they will match perfectly. But these with green laces, I will show you his Instagram because he posted a picture as well or maybe link to his YouTube video they should have come with matching green laces so this is how they let me compare them to you of course you can see how reflective they are uh, these are pretty worn but it shouldn't matter with the reflective part and i will turn off the light very soon so you will see the difference these are like silver and these are gray uh, these according to me you can see from a distance that this is a 3m reflective color these more or less only look gray uh, I prefer it when you don't see that they are 3m until the reflective part pops up like we have these that are reflective and when I kill the light which I'm going to do, do now they're just white so as you just saw, uh, all these three shoes are reflective, but these are white, really white. And um, the reflections of a champion sixes are silver, but according to me, they look uh, 3M reflective. And then we have the green beans that are gray. So if you are, I don't know, 
afraid of reflective or that it's supposed to look too reflective. They don't. In normal lighting, as we have it now, I have spotlights and, uh, and a spotlight. Uh, they just look gray. And the green is super nice. And then we have the green jump man in the rear. And people, oh, I don't want to, I don't even want to talk about resellers, but people say that there are no resale value in these because they don't have the Nike Air in the heel. This is, a, this is not a Nike Air stamped shoe because these came out in 2006, uh, 16 years ago. We haven't seen them in 16 years. So use that. We haven't seen these in 16 years and people complain. Come on. Um, yeah, so it's not an OG color. And if it's not an OG colorway, it doesn't have the Nike Air stamp in the rear. And I like it. I like it like this. I like the green Jumpman. I like the Jumpman logo. So I don't complain about these at all. So uh, let me show you some close up. Yeah, one more thing that people have complained about is that I'm going to show you this closer. That it's a different nuance, uh, nuance, nuance uh, of the tongue. And uh, I think that is okay because all Air Jordan 5s should have a reflective tongue. So in this case, I don't mind that we have a standard Air Jordan 5 re 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 reflective tongue. And then we have the green bean gray uh, material of the rest of the shoe. But I'm actually unsure if it is a standard 3M tongue. Let me see. So as I said, all Air Jordan 5 should have the 3M reflective tongue. And uh, these are old, these are new, and these are brand new. And uh, I don't know, do they have the same color of the 3M of the tongue? I think so. And I think that I really do miss the old fat tongue. This one was comfortable. This is okay. This is this is much stiffer, much thinner. Nothing special, but the old ones they were nice. So according to me, uh, the tongues look similar in the neons. And when we put on the flash, wait a second. The the green bean tongue is it reflective? This was odd. Let me kill the lights. But you can see instantly the reflective effect of the old tongue. And those are also okay. Um, but the old ones are magical. Okay, so the green bean tongue is reflective. But not at all as the old ones. Um, I find that a bit weird. Why have they, have they done it like that? So as you can see, the shoes are not super reflective. Um, just enough. So if you are afraid that they are going to look, I don't know, too cool for you. Uh, don't be worried. This, this is just enough. But the thing with the tongue really surprises me. I can't understand at all because, as I said, the the nuance, uh, the material of the tongue and the shoe is not the same. So I thought that they meant to have your standard tongue material, the standard 3M, and then the special green bean gray uh, reflective. But um, this was kind of disappointing actually. I still like them, absolutely, but you see the glow of, of the older tongues, or with the OG Retro Master, as I call it. That's odd. And then we know that Nike can sometimes do mistakes. Uh, we had, um, what, sh what shoes were that? Sorry about my watch. 
Or what shoes were that? That they didn't glow in the dark. Yeah, it was the neon green uh, Air Jordan 6s. That some sizes or from some factories, whatever, they had a glow in the dark sole and others didn't and Nike didn't care at all. So maybe, maybe you have a pair of green beans with a more reflective tongue. If that's the case, let me know. So, uh, let me know. That would be fun to know. I'm pretty sure that these are true to size. Uh, if not, I will put that in the video. And yes, they will crease. But once again, let me show you my sixes that I've used a lot. Yeah, they crease, but so what? So what? It's not bad. I've used these a lot. Uh, so yeah, I love 3M. Uh, I can probably show you uh, somehow how many I have. Cool shoes. The neon green is nice. The matching box that they do nowadays is really nice. The reflective part of the shoe is nice. I don't keep the boxes, but still cool. I appreciate that. Cool shoes. So let me know. My my phone is acting up. What do you think about them? Did you get them? And uh, why did you get them? And why did you not get them? I don't think that they sold out. Um, I did. I bought these from from sneakers and stuff. So I got them. I got the confirmation a day before the 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 release at Nike. So I didn't even bother in the morning, but I checked in like uh, half an hour, 50, 40 minutes after the, the drop and they were still available in my size. Uh, so I don't think that they flew off the shelf. And uh, once again, talking about resale in my size, US 12 at the moment, they go for under retail, like $193. And I'm pretty sure that there are 200 something in US and here in Sweden, we've paid 235 euro yeah 235 euro so that's quite a lot Air Juno 5 green bean not OG but still still a retro we have had them once before 16 years ago 2006 now I'm starting to talk too much I'm getting a lot of messages thanks for watching yeah I wanted to show you some of my other reflective shoes uh, I don't have the energy to put them out the boxes but you can see that there are shoes everywhere that are reflected somehow the 13s these are great these are really magical and uh, the tongues are all of all the fives and yeah love reflective sneakers